can't be for me! Alright, ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Those Were the Days. I am Mike with Mike W Productions, as you possibly know by now. If not, welcome to the channel. As you know, we do have a lot of videos uh, for All in the Family. I will link a little playlist up here for you guys. Uh, if you're on your computer, you guys should see that. If you're on your TV, you would have to go into my page and uh, find it there. So with that being said, if you guys are all caught up with All in the Family, this one seems like it's going to be a pretty funny episode. We only have a few more episodes to go, I believe four, four or so, including this one. Uh, the next one, I believe, is one of my more favorite ones because it has a big named actor in it, but you guys will have to wait for that. So with that being said, let's jump right into it. Here we go. Okay, Gloria is making pasta for some reason and singing. Now who's that at the door? It's a package for me. Okay. The last time I had a package this size was from your grandmother on your father's side. Okay. A beautiful lace tablecloth over 80 years old. Well, that was nice of her. I don't remember ever seeing that. That's because I've been saving it for best. Okay. But we ain't had no best. <laughs> <laughs> okay. I mean, Gloria got married. Why not bring that out for that then, eh? Ma, if you don't open it up, I'll go crazy! <laughs> She'll go crazy. She's really calmed down, though. This can't be for me! It's a mint cape! Wow, okay. You know, I've seen this somewhere before. I think it's from your cousin Amelia. Oh, okay. Amelia, that's where I've seen it, on Amelia! <laughs> right. If it's real mink, you might want to be careful in the 70s and 80s and 90s because they like to throw paint on it. Oh, she didn't have to do that. I know you'll say I don't have to do this, Edith. Uh, Wonder why she said it. They're coming over on Friday. I know we're coming over Friday. <laughs> well, that was nice of her. I mean, she could have just waited and saved. What will Amelia do without it? Russ is buying me a new one for my birthday anyway. <laughs> okay, so she's getting a new one, but she still could have waited until they got there and saved some postage, maybe. Huh? It feels just like soft fur. <laughs> That's because it is soft fur. There she is, Miss America. <laughs> Your idea. I wonder how many minks it took to make that, though. Because minks aren't very big. Leave it, Ma. It can't be you. Oh, yeah, Mike, it's me. <laughs> oh, I'm going to have to find someplace fancy to wear this. Only Archie don't take me to no mink places. <laughs> Archie don't take you to no places. <laughs> right. Oh my, that ain't fair. It's true, but it ain't fair. <laughs> it's true, but it ain't fair. I didn't know Cousin Amelia was that rich. Well, her husband's a plumbing contractor. Oh, nice. Yeah, they make half a mink a day. Yeah, that's about right. I tell you. Coming home through this city some nights is like coming through a minefield. Right. Daddy, you should see what mine just I'm got. talking, Gloria. <laughs> Archie's back on the wagon of complaining about the commute. I leave work and I go down the subway. See, your Mayor Lindsay's tunable trolley system. <laughs> the subway platform is jammed with people. It's a wall-to-wall -wall melting pot. Right. Of course, the trains ain't running again. Yeah, well, that's the show. Oh, great. I go up to this subway guard, and he happens to be one of your pushy imported Ricans. <laughs> imported Ricans, wow. Okay. So I says to him, you know, trying to be polite, What's up, Pedro? 
And you're all alone, Pedro. Wow. <laughs> he says, the main's broke. The water's flooding the rails. I says, how am I going to get home? He says, try swimming up the tracks. <laughs> Ouch. Well, I asked him, for a city employee to talk to any- I'm all alone here. What is right? Where's your mother? Here she is! Well, how do you like it, Archie? They kind of seem like, um, the vacation movie. Well, the Christmas vacation movie, at least. Joy to the world! I thought we were saving our green stamps for a camera. <laughs> Well, Archie doesn't like it, apparently. Probably took every stamp book we had. <laughs> <laughs> oh, he thinks that they put in all their stamps. These were these little stamps when you went to a grocery store and you were checking out. The cashier would give you these stamps. And every few weeks, you would paste them into books that looked like this. And then you'd send them in or you'd go to a redemption center and you'd trade them in for things like coffee makers or toasters. Well, give it back. <laughs> oh, Archie, why? Because a present from Cousin Amelia is also a present from your cousin-in-law, Rush, too. Okay. Daddy, Ma did something nice for Amelia. Now Amelia's doing something nice for Ma. Right. I don't know why all this hostility. Yeah, she earned that cape. Ain't and this a subject you know nothing about. <laughs> <laughs> okay, that's fair. That cape ain't ain't. That's charity, which Archie Bunker don't take from nobody in the day. Okay. I ain't saying it's large S, small S, or any kind of thing. <laughs> I can understand that she's gonna give that fur cape back to the Dekiper. That's all. Okay. It's the Kuiper. He's rich. Spends his life looking for wounds to rub salt in. <laughs> sure found one with you, you're practically green with jealousy. Right. Jealousy who rushed the kite, but why the man ain't got a gleaming feature. Sure. He ain't certainly what you'd call good looking. <laughs> you mean like you? Right. Hey, it's Gated. Now, who's better looking? Is it me or the dumb Dutchman the kite? <laughs> oh, okay. Oh, Archie, by far. Satisfied? Can I keep the cape? <laughs> <laughs> Ah, she knows how to work around. I'm surprised it used to ecology nuts. Ecology? Economy? Well, they breed those animals, Daddy. That's right, Arch. Mink is not an endangered species. Oh. Okay. Mother-in-law ain't a mink type price. I mean, uh, it's like putting a white tie and tails on a meathead here. <laughs> is this all we're having? We're having spaghetti, just the way you like it, long. Okay. I like it short. Okay. Except in the case of elbow macaroni, which is short because it's bent. <laughs> You're a pip, you know that. Is. <laughs> Mother's getting ding bad than never with that cape around it, and that okay. sent it over here to percolate my family against me. Percolate. That I ain't rich enough to. Daddy, you're not. <laughs> you know, it's present in your mind. Wow. You give him back that cake. Oh, man, I can't hurt her feelings. That right. If you can, I can. Right. Don't insult them. Oh. Right. That might be insulting. I want to throw that cake back into his face while I'm in the mood. Wow, Archie's just being mean to be mean. You can't uh, take your fur, Russ. Uh, cat, fur, rabbit, anything like that, you know? <laughs> uh, 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 what do you call these uh, uh, allergies? Allergies. Pick up the fur and you give it away to the Salvation Army. Oh, wow. Why don't I just sell the thing? You're gonna give back that cake! <laughs> oh, uh-oh. <laughs> what happened? <laughs> oh, ho, ho, ho. <laughs> Well, eh, it's almost as bad as paint. Not quite, but almost. What are we gonna eat now? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, there's still a little pasta left on the, on the mink. Ah, watch keeping your mother-in-law to dry cleaners is only two blocks away. Right. Breath. Never mind about your brick, you can breathe late. <laughs> now where's the cake? They're keeping it. The Jeffersons have been cleaning that cake for six days. And wow, six days. He had to put the mink through twice. Wow, okay. Put it through a day time. That the third time the fur came out. Ooh, okay. That he'll get his insurance company to clear it right away. Well, that's nice of him. Look at the Jeffersons in the first place. I mean, the colored people don't know nothing about dry cleaning. Ooh, wow, okay. That's mean. That's right, Arch. All we taught him is how to work with cotton. Oh, wow. Good, good comeback. Good comeback, though. Go carry a sign, will you? <laughs> Mr. Jefferson said we might get as much as $300. That's not bad. Edith, don't never bring no more clean $300. 
Okay. You're not thinking of keeping that money, are you? I might be. Yeah. Oh, because you already told Rush you were gonna give back the cape. But there ain't no cape now. Oh, right. I swear when it was just a fur cape, you couldn't care less. Now it's three hundred dollars. Your whole world lights up. <laughs> Technically, it was still his when he was having it cleaned. Insult a relation, a rich relation at that. One that you don't like. Oh, watch! I thought you didn't want to take charity. Right. And if you think insurance companies give out charity, you're a lot dumber than I ever gave you credit for. <laughs> Same way a lot of people keep millions of dollars, don't pay no taxes. Okay. But for instance, you're Ronald Reagan there. Ronald <laughs> Reagan? <laughs> Throwing that example up to me? <laughs> that is the way the system is supposed to work. And Reagan is a guy who knows how to work it. Okay. You know, I told you about Ronald Reagan. You bald hell out of me for besmirching the name of a great governor. <laughs> and don't do it no more! <laughs> okay. And giving back $300 to a man who don't need it goes against everything this nation stands for. Okay. You were supposed to be going to movies, I'd get lost. Yeah, come on. Right. They're at it again. I don't want them going out the front door. Go out the back door. <laughs> I don't want you to meet the Dekypers and open your big mouth and screw everything up. Well, they probably would, though. You make like an oyster and clam up. <laughs> How are you? <laughs> Okay, he's one of those guys. <laughs> well, she has a new mink coat. Same old Ice. Same old Rush. Same old Edith, too. <laughs> Same old living room. <laughs> sort of brown, ain't it? Reminds me of what I come up from. <laughs> Burn! Ooh, okay. Now I don't feel so bad for him. What Russ means is we're more like what you'd call pink people. Oh, right. We got a son-in-law as one of them. Oh, ho, 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 ho. <laughs> oh, God! But I did paint the laundry basket once with one of them spray cans, remember, Archie? Right. I forgot to take the laundry out. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> Archie was wearing wicker pattern underwear for no <laughs> Wow, okay. About that mink cake. I don't believe none of that guff he was giving me about Edith's allergies. Right. His hair's kind of poofy in the back, too. Me and me, we want Edith to keep the cake. Why shouldn't she have a little luxury in her life? I mean, look around. Right. <laughs> kind of mean, though, you know. You two want to give that fur cake to Edith here? Well, I say beautiful. <laughs> Archie, how can beautiful. we keep <laughs> So, because if they agree to keep the cape with Edith, he gets to keep the money. Something in your eye. <laughs> Yeah, he has a twitch. First, I gotta see what you look like in that fur. Try it on. Right. Here we go. Kate is still at the dry cleaners. But I had it clean just before I sent it to you. Right. See, he didn't know these colored people, they run a dry cleaners. Colored? Yeah. Oh, hey, but listen, they're, they're great. Okay. I mean, they get right in there. The benzene it don't do nothing to them. Oh, <laughs> okay. We're going there now. There is one thing that I like about you, Arch. What's that, Rush? You are poor and you know it. Oh, wow. Just don't want to throw money down the drain, right? Well, I don't think anyone really does, especially nowadays. <laughs> That's a plumber's joke! <laughs> right. That's funny! That's funny! <laughs> Not really that funny, though. Working with him all day long is like having your own personal Johnny Carson. Right. <laughs> <laughs> Good sound effects. Shut the door, Russell! <laughs> right? <laughs> I mean, it's already over with, so... The door is shut, Amelia! It always sounds like that! Oh, okay. Your float valve is half shot. Huh? Oh, yeah, you know, you could use a new toilet. Okay. As a matter of fact, you could use a whole new bathroom. Now he's trying to make a sale. Try this. Oh, I thanks know, very yeah. much. Hey. Hi, but Hi. this is Mrs. Jefferson. Mrs. Jefferson is back. They are moving on up. Almost. They're getting there. But I was just so upset about what happened to the mink cave. Get us back to cave just as soon as ever you can, huh? But there's nothing left but the skin. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Miss Jefferson. So I got George to make out his check without waiting for the insurance to come through. Okay, well, that's nice of him. Kind of screwed up Archie, but at least she, you know, was being nice and brought the check over. You see, we had an accident with the cape and the cleaners ruined it, but the insurance is paying for it. Right. Cast your bread upon the waters and it comes back dough. Okay. Rush that shake ain't yours, that's all. Oh. Okay, yeah, kind of. Right, 
Russell, we gave them the cake. She's right. Listen to Rich Daddy Drain Pipes over here. <laughs> Daddy Drain Pipes. Dredging after a lousy $300. Right. I don't know how much I gotta make to keep $300 cash in our tax bracket. Okay. Couldn't care less about it. Now it's $300, your whole world lights up. Right. <laughs> money, money, money. You really love it, don't you, rich man? Right. What I do? How do you think I got to be rich, poor man? Oh, jeez, <laughs> the greed of him. I can smell it all over him. Woo! You're fighting fair, I guess. Sweet perfume of success. And him all day long up to his armpits and toilets. <laughs> oh, that's a real good comeback. Bragging because he was lucky enough to marry into a successful plumbing racket. Ooh, okay. I built that business up myself. Yeah, old, old man left you a going concern, and her brother on a board of education. He gave you the concern. Session for a whole school district. Nice. It's hundred toilets. Boy, talking about falling into a royal flush. <laughs> Tell him who built that business up. Uh, Papa, Freddy, my Uncle Charles. <laughs> Listen, did I your own wife knows you what a phony you are? Right. Mrs. Jefferson gave you this check. True. And it says right on the check here, paid to the order of Amelia de Kuyp. What? Why does it say that? What's her name doing on this check? Right. You said yourself, Archie. As soon as it was cleaned, it had to go back. Right. It, thank you. Come along. You here. see what you <laughs> You ain't leaving this house? Till I finish saying to you what I want to say to you. What do you want to say to me? <laughs> I'll split that with you. <laughs> if you leave this house with that there check there, Russ, it ain't gonna do our friendship no good. Right. <laughs> well, that didn't work out. <laughs> and Archie's mad. Once again, your side of the family. <laughs> I guess that's fair. Boy, no wonder they say the money's the root of all evil. Russ only did unto you what you were trying to do to him. True. But the Bible also says it is more blessed to give than to receive. True. <laughs> <laughs> He's not amused by that, but okay. I got one for you. Silence is golden. <laughs> this is true too. So stifle thyself. With it. <laughs> and that is it. Let's talk about it. All right, so that was All in the Family, or as I like to call it, Those Were the Days. Pretty interesting episode. You know, Edith gets sent this coat by one of her cousins, and uh, they're supposed to come over in a couple of days anyways, so I don't understand why she sent it to her when she could have just brought it to her. Edith, of course, doesn't get, let's say, high-value things usually from Archie. So having a mink coat is kind of a big deal to her. So she wears it all day while cooking. Um, Archie thinks that, you know, it's a little overdone, doesn't want her to have it, blah, blah, blah. And usually there's some kind of, um, you know, something that comes with that uh, gift. So it's kind of the don't look a gift horse in the mouth type thing. He thinks that maybe it's just because the husband of who sent it likes to brag about how much money they have. So that could be the case. He gets into an argument with her and of course opens the door and gets it messy. Interesting uh, concepts here. The whole show as, as itself is pretty funny. I like how the cousin-in-law and Archie start going at it i do like that the the cousin the wife of of the of the plumber is kind of on archie and edith's side wanting them to have the check because you know they owned it it was given to them so why not have them have the check but of course edith being edith had miss jefferson put the other person's name on the check so even if archie wanted to he couldn't cash it so there's your issue so i mean all in all it's a good episode it was pretty funny and i do like how uh they had the plumber cousin getting on archie that's always a fun so all in all a good episode a very funny episode i believe the next one is one of my more favorite episodes but we shall see so if you guys like this video, go ahead and give it a thumbs up. If not, go ahead and give it a thumbs down. Nobody sees it anyways. Um, also, if you aren't a subscriber yet, why not? All you have to do is hit a little button. Go, you know the, you know the thing.
and it lets you know exactly when I put out a video. Um, I try and make sure that that little button is hit that lets you guys get notified when a video drops. So um, if you guys want to be notified, you can also hit the notification bell if you are subscribed. And um, I am so happy that we are growing as a channel. We're in the 300s right now. Uh, my goal is to get 500, even though I know that we should be getting the community tab here pretty soon. They said uh, within a couple of months. So we'll see when I get it. And you guys hopefully will be the first to know. So just make sure that you have those notifications on as well. So with that being said, I do want to thank you guys uh, for joining me, getting this far in the video. I do especially want to thank all of my subscribers for hitting that subscribe button. Don't worry about it. You're still in good shape. All you got to do is just tap it in. Just tap it in. And thank you for getting this far into the video. And we will see you next time. Peace.